Lizzo, the renowned American rapper and singer, is facing backlash as three of her former dancers have taken legal action, alleging that she not only body shamed them, but also subjected them to sexual harassment and fostered a harmful work environment. Here's why Lizzo is a horrible person exposed. Melissa Vivian Jefferson, professionally known as Lizzo, is a celebrated artist who has earned four Grammy Awards. Her fans were taken aback by the recent allegations against their favorite singer since Lizzo has built a reputation for spreading empowering messages and advocating for body positivity. On August 1st, a complaint was launched at the Los Angeles Superior Court by the dancers where they made accusations against Lizzo, her production company Big Girl Big Touring Inc., and a dance captain. The allegations include claims of sexual, religious, and racial harassment, along with accusations of discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment. So what are the details of this whole controversy? Let's find out. But before we move any further, do be sure that you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to get more video updates like this going forward. Now let's continue. As reported by NBC News, which obtained a copy of the lawsuit from the plaintiffs' law firm, the three dancers, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez, claimed that they were compelled to participate in sex shows and engage with performers during the period from 2021 to 2023. One of the allegations is that Lizzo allegedly made one of her dancers touch a nude performer at a nightclub in Amsterdam. Additionally, the lawsuit claims that Lizzo made false accusations of drinking on the job against the dancers and subjected them to a cruel audition process. Another allegation in the lawsuit is that during the South by Southwest Music Festival, Lizzo expressed thinly veiled concerns about the plaintiff's weight gain. This allegedly pressured the dancers to explain her weight gain and disclose intimate personal details about her life in order to keep her job. The lawsuit further claims that black members of the dance group faced differential treatment compared to other team members being accused of laziness, unprofessionalism, and having negative attitudes. The dance captain Charlene Quigley is accused of imposing her religious beliefs on the dancers, preaching her Christian faith relentlessly despite objections from others and belittling those who engage in premarital sex. Moreover, Lizzo's company is facing accusations of unfair wages of the dancers during the artist's European tour. According to the dancers, they were offered only 25% of their weekly pay as downtime instead of the agreed-upon 50%. On August 3rd, two days after the lawsuit was filed, Lizzo released a statement claiming that she's not the villain and disproved the allegations, stating that they're untrue. I'm not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I'm not the villain that people and the media have portrayed me to be these last few days," Lizzo revealed in a statement on social media. I'm very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not," she continued. These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized, her statement read. Usually, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous not to be addressed. Lizzo also mentioned that the former employees accusing her are the same people who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Despite this long statement, many famous personalities from the music industry, such as Queen Beyoncé and director Sophia Nolly Allison, have responded with their reactions. During a concert in Boston, Beyoncé, the most cherished music artist in Grammy history and a great entertainment icon, omitted Lizzo's name from the mentions while performing Break My Soul, Queen's remix. The song serves as a tribute to black women in the entertainment industry and Lizzo's name was initially included alongside figures like Nicki Minaj and Nina Simone in the song's lyrics. It's worth noting that Beyoncé had mentioned Lizzo's name alongside others in previous performances, but it was left out on this occasion. During the Boston concert on August 1st, which took place shortly after the allegations from the lawsuit emerged, Beyoncé seemed to have excluded Lizzo's name from her performance despite the rapper's name being displayed on the screen behind her. 
As per the report, various videos on social media revealed that Beyonce repeatedly mentioned the name of singer Erica Badu, who was also celebrated in the song as one of the honored black women four times instead of mentioning Lizzo's name. Sophia Nolly Allison, director of the Academy Award-nominated short documentary A Love Song for Latasha 2019, had initially decided to direct a documentary about Lizzo in 2019. However, she left the project just after only two weeks into its development. Shortly after the dancers filed their lawsuit against Lizzo, Allison used her Instagram stories to share her personal experience with the Grammy-winning singer. A screenshot of Sophia Nolly Allison's Instagram story featuring her comments on Lizzo was captured and circulated. I usually don't comment on anything pop culture related, but in 2019, I traveled a bit with Lizzo to be the director of her documentary. I walked away after about two weeks, she wrote. I was treated with such disrespect by her. I witnessed how arrogant and unkind she is. I wasn't protected and was thrown into a sticky situation with little support. My spirit said to run as fast as you can and I'm so grateful I trusted my gut. I felt gaslit and was deeply hurt, but I've healed, continued Allison. Reading these reports made me realize how dangerous of a situation it was, she added. This kind of abuse of power happens far too often. Much love and support to the dancers. For now, Lizzo has been painted as a truly horrible person. Where will this controversy take her? Only time will tell. But for now, that's all for today's video. Until next time, take care and goodbye.